out there that attacked me in the comment section as I was reporting on the Kanye West situation, I can finally say I freaking told you so. everyone, it's me, Steph, the Alter Nerd, your nerdy alternative, and welcome to another dose of the Daily Nerd, where I break down the news and pop culture stories of the day that's pretty much caught me eye. And oh my goodness, Kanye West's interview with Pierce Morgan, did he actually admit, finally, that what he said about the Jewish people and the DEF CON free comment was racist? Guys, I feel freaking vindicated after all those comments under my videos attacking me. I'm going to explain what went down, what was said, and afterwards, hold on to your butts and ear holes, because I've got a freaking Steph rant that I need to offload. Before I do all that, though, a little bit of housekeeping. Firstly, YouTube human reviewer, I see you looking. I'm not going to say any trigger words or anything that's going to offend your ear holes. And to everyone else awesome enough to have clicked on this video, hi, welcome, how are you doing? If you love this kind of news and pop culture on the daily served with a little bit of sass and gobbiness, do make sure you click on that subscribe button, like, share, comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories, whatever's. Also as well, for your consideration, you can also send me a super thanks as well, which is just below this video here. And with that being said, Oh, let's jump into this, shall we? So, let me firstly explain uh, the portion of the interview that I'm zeroing in on. Um, so, the interview with Pierce Morgan that Kanye West uh, did, and he is refusing to fully apologize uh, for his anti-Semitic rant saying that he's only sorry for the people I hurt while trying to justify his actions as fighting fire with fire. Um, he says that, I will say I'm sorry for the people I hurt with the DEF CON with the confusion. Um, and then um, earlier in the program, Morgan had asked the hip-hop star if he was sorry about the DEF CON comments, to which West fired back, no, absolutely not, absolutely not. So. What happened here in terms of like this half assed apology, right, is this. Kanye West turns round and says, um, I'm really, really sorry for the people that I hurt with this particular comment. However, it was actually directed to those that are in power that are Jewish that are trying to destroy me. of said speech this is extremely hurtful and damaging now does he finally admit that he is a racist listen to this guy right so here's morgan replied saying look can you you should be sorry because those comments are as racist as anything you've been through and racism is racism can you respond Yes, obviously, that's why I said it. I fought fire with fire. I'm not here to get hosed down. Guys, he said yes. Yes, that comment is racist. Yes, I feel vindicated right now because in my opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever, by admitting that what he said in terms of that DEF CON free comment, was racist, anti-Semitic against the Jewish people. Well, by saying it's racist, what he said, to me, he is then, by de facto, by proxy, admitting that he is a racist himself. And that is my opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever. I feel totally vindicated. And hold on to your butts, because this Steph Rod is majorly coming here. Now, Howard Stern had something to say about all of this as well. Uh, and he 
uh, commented saying off the back of this that Kanye West is now coming off as the World War II bad guy. He says, I almost don't want to give any energy to this Kanye West character. I don't know much about Kanye West. I'm not big into the rap scene, but he is. I'm really tired of people excusing his behavior by saying, well, he's just mentally ill. Um, and then Stern co-host Robin Quivers chimed in saying, so was the World War II bad guy and someone elected him to run a country. Uh, Howard Stern noted how a lot of media organizations were giving West attention over it and rightly so in exposing him. Uh, Stern, who is Jewish, uh, went on to note how he has experienced uh, this kind of behavior earlier in his life in fights and groups of people with uh, chains uh, attacking him. He continued, boy, what's, what this guy's into, it's the same old stuff with the Jews, you know. But anyway, Kanye was on the Chris Cuomo show, and good Lord, you got to hear the shiz this guy's into. And screw this mental illness, self-defense thing that he's into. You know, like, oh, yeah, he's just mentally ill. Don't worry about it. And then his co-host Quivers says, look, if he was so mentally ill, they wouldn't have him on TV. He's not so mentally ill. You don't let him say this stuff. Now, guys, I did a couple of videos uh, recently about this whole Kanye West situation. and um, off of the back of it, I lost a few subscribers. Um, and I think part of it as well was the YouTube purge, in all honesty. But the amount of comments that I received under those videos attacking me for my viewpoint on me saying, look, what Kanye West said was racist, anti-Semitic, inexcusable. The amount of comments that I had under those videos attacking me for that viewpoint I'll tell you something right now. After the response that Kanye West says here, yes, obviously, that's why I said it. When Morgan replied, look, that comment is as racist as anything you've been through. Racism is racism. I'm sorry, but to you lot out there, I am vindicated. My opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever, Kanye West admitted that the DEFCON 3 comment that he made on Twitter was racist. And by doing so, in my opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever, because he said something racist, that then makes him a racist. It's as simple as that, right? As simple as that. And this whole half backside apology of like, oh, well, uh, I'm sorry for the people that are hurt. But I'm not entirely going to be apologetic about the comment because it's actually directed to the Jewish people in power that's trying to destroy me. What? What? No! What the hell? And if you guys out there that attacked me under those videos, right, saying I'm wrong, this, that, and the other, Kanye's not racist, what he said wasn't racist, this, that, and the other, if you still think after this video that I'm still wrong, what the hell? What the absolute hell? Can you admit it himself after questioning from Piers Morgan? Yes. I fought fire with fire. Can you said it from his own gob? Admitted it. That what he said was racist. Get with the freaking program, people. This is no joke. And for all you lot out there that's saying, oh, well, you know, we've got, a, you know, he's suffering from mental health, this, that, and the other, blah, 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 blah. Okay, okay. If, if he is suffering from mental health issues, which, to be fair, I'm not a doctor, but... I do strongly suspect that is the case. Fair play. Okay. That still does not excuse what he is saying. It does not. Right? If that's the case, he needs help now. It's as simple as that. Because it does not excuse the fact that what he said 
against the Jewish people was racist. And it does not turn this whole situation... How, how do I put this? Because I'm so freaking flustered right now. Your reality in thinking that what Kanye West said was not racist is now destroyed by Kanye on the Piers Morgan interview admitting that what he said in that Twitter comment for the DEFCON 3 situation, he admits that was racist. All right? You're done. This is the reality of the situation. This is the person you are idolizing at the moment. And this is some scary shiz. Like, what more do you need to understand and to accept that Kanye West is not perfect? No one is, right? We all make mistakes. Even Kanye. But what will it take for you guys out there that attacked me in my video saying I'm wrong, Kanye West isn't racist, blah, blah, blah. What will it take for you to actually understand the reality of things and actually accept that he is, in terms of what he said, he is? What will it freaking take? Because he's just admitted it himself in that Pierce Morgan interview. I mean, come the frick on. Come the frick on. History should be a freaking warning to what happened in World War II. Exactly in terms of what Howard Stern's been saying. What I mentioned earlier on in this video when he referenced that. It is not an understatement to turn around and say what Kanye West is saying is freaking dangerous. And why is it, why is it that people are still giving him a free pass on this? I do not understand. Do you know what, though? Let me put it this way to you. All racism is abhorrent, disgusting, right? Cannot be justified in any way, shape, or freaking form. But I wonder, what if he turned around and he said, do you know what? I want to go DEF CON 3 on um, Asians. We all know that there is a problem at the moment with all racism, but Asian hate as well, right? Asian racism. What if he said that? Would you be giving him a free pass then? Would you be like, oh, no, that's just Kanye being Kanye, blah, 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 blah. Would you? Really? Come the frick on. Get with the program. Get with the reality of the situation. This ain't the freaking Matrix. This is real life. This is the reality. What he said was racist, and in turn, that makes him a racist. And he just admitted on the Pierce Morgan show, that what he said was racist. So follow the logic there. And it'll lead you to a freaking logical conclusion. Come on! This is so frustrating. Wh why is it so difficult to grasp that what he said was wrong? And again, freedom of speech, fair play. I get that. But it don't mean that then you enjoy freedom of consequence from said speech. I feel vindicated. I told you so in those videos. And he has now admitted it himself in that Pierce Morgan interview. So what's your freaking justification now with what he said, huh? You ain't got one. It's impossible. And if you try, you're just squaring the circle. It's freaking mental gymnastics.
He needs to be held accountable for what he said. I'm not calling for the cancellation of Kanye. I would never call for the cancellation for anyone. But he needs to be held accountable for what he says. And what he said in this particular situation. With that being said, enough with my gob. It's time for your gobs. Comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories, whatever. And if you appreciated this video and you want more, do make sure you subscribe to join our Alter Nerd tribe because there's going to be more Steph rants. Like, share, comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories and whatevers. And for your consideration, you can always send me a super thanks, which is just below this video, if you should well choose to do so. And with that being said, until the next time, you guys. Laters.